Welcome. Uh, my name is Ramesh Yarabali. I'm uh, in, going to introduce the software called Widraw that uh, one can use for presentations or uh, I mainly use it for teaching in a large classroom. Um, so Widraw is a free software. You can find it on GitHub. Uh, there's, this is the page for it. Uh, and you can uh, uh, see that it's a uh, open source GNU license software you can modify it at will uh, uh, I'll show you how to use it uh, if you if you want to download it you can use the link directly from the white draw page or go view it on github and then do the same thing so when you install it you will get a file uh, a folder uh, it'll be called white draw master I just renamed it to white draw and you will see a folder within it called white draw tool which has the software in it so you double click on it you will find a bunch of files and as long as you have oracle java version 1.6 or later you, all you need is a runtime and you can run java uh, white draw so there's an executable jar file called white draw and you simply double click that so when you run white draw what you see is a blank screen. This is the equivalent of a blackboard or a whiteboard. So what I'm going to show you is the fact that there is uh, Vidraw is very non-intrusive. So when you're using it, you don't have any menus and drop downs. Everything is a keyboard shortcut. So to show you what keys I'm pressing, I'm going to enable my key capture so you can see what I'm actually running. So I have my key capture on. So uh, when I start a lecture, typically I'm um, I'm gonna work work my class with some topics. So I'll say today uh, what I'm gonna be doing today. So today's topics I list. Maybe I'm gonna do some notes uh, and maybe I talk about some review of what we did in the last class. Uh, maybe we'll three what are the concepts we're going to be studying today uh, maybe there is uh, an overview of four topics we're going to be studying uh, maybe we do some code review of some kind and once i explain what i'm doing i'm going to take a snapshot of the screen so that all my lectures are available to the student as a transcript so i can either um, take a snapshot and stay on the screen by saying control P and stay on the screen um, or I can clear the screen so this is a shortcut for doing both so let's say I, I started explaining something this is my uh, my um, concept for the day maybe I'm talking about uh, something about arrays uh, in in assembly and I explain the concept and I do a couple of examples and then I want to take a snapshot and move on I can hit control N which basically takes a snapshot and clears the screen now the nice thing is I can always go back to the previous page by doing a control R and which is for rewind or forward to go back and I can also use the arrow keys for doing the same thing I can do control back backwards left or control right to do the same thing so let's do a, another feature within within uh, white draw white draw is not just a whiteboard it can be a blackboard too so I can do control B now I have a blackboard and I can still use my my um, pens pen as a writing tool but the colors are uh, are appear differently so maybe I'm explaining some some other concept this is my second concept um, and and I might explain it I might import pictures from another application and uh, and I can import pictures simply by going to some uh, some application let's say I have a website here uh, I have a picture somewhere in in that I want to bring in I can copy this image I can bring it in here and I can say well I want to paste it there and there's my image of something then I can start writing on it using whatever colors I have so right now I'm going to change my color to uh, let's say a cyan and I'm going to say this is this is a trappist system 
let's say and these are the various planets in the trappist system and i can do that then i can take a snapshot of that and i can still stay on it like i said or i can move on uh, so now uh, i can always review them i can go back and look at all the topics that i've covered and when i'm done with my presentation i can save it i can save it as a pdf by doing a control x Control X will ask me to give it a wide draw a session name. I'm just going to call this uh, intro session that I just did. I say OK and it'll ask me where you want to save it. I'm just going to give it some folder. Uh, let's say I have a test folder here. I'm going to just say go ahead and put it in the test folder and it's going to save it. So now what I get when I'm when I exit this is a PDF file. So I'm going to uh, show you how that PDF file looks like. Uh, if you go back to the page that I just saved it in, it was on this uh, under school. There was a test folder here and I saved it right there. And there is the intro right there. So intro will have the PDF of the document and the three snapshots I took. So if I double click on that, I can see it in PDF. I can see exactly what I explain. So usually I just give this to the students as a transcript of the lecture. I hope you, you find Vidraw useful. There's a lot of features in Vidraw. In following videos, I'll explain what those features are.